when I first came here, there was nobody here. Nobody. I had so much space around me, I thought I would die of it. And I couldn't fill it with anybody except me. So one day, I made somebody up. The first was Tonky. At first she just stood in the dark, but then she came closer, and she was my true friend. She always used to walk a little bit ahead of me to ward things off. And then, one day, just as I was most comfortable with her, she sickened and died. Then I made up the twin. There was a boy and a girl, but you couldn't tell them apart. They were different than Tonky. They weren't as kind-hearted as her, but they were a lot of fun. They used to run races without even moving, and they would pull practical jokes. Then one day, they started to hit me. They pushed me against the wall and they kicked me and they beat me and I kept saying to them, why are you doing it? I always loved you. Why are you hurting me? When I couldn't talk anymore, they just disappeared. They faded back into the loneliness. And then I realized who was doing these things to me. It was the person. He turned all of my friends against me. And you want to know how he did it? He made me do terrible things to them. I drove them away. I did it to myself. But when I realized what he was doing to me, I stopped making people up. And I just sat there and sat there. And if anybody came up, I would make it go dark. I pulled down the blind. And I thought to myself, there's nobody there. There's nobody here. And there never will be. Not anybody. Ever. And then one day, I opened my eyes a little. And you were there. And you never hurt me. And you've never gone away. You don't play baseball very well. But everything else you do as if you've spent your whole life learning to please me. And now I've thought of a way to please you. I'm not going to look for my people anymore. I'm going to look for your people as if they were mine. And you and me together will find them. <laughs>